Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the 12th lesson. And before we get started with this lesson, let's quickly recap what we learned in the previous lesson, in the lesson number 11. Well, we didn't learn too much. It was a, it was a very short lesson. All what we learned there is two words like fi hi and fi ha. And we said that when we say fi hi, this he refers to a masculine word. In this case, it refers to baitun. Baitun is a masculine word. It doesn't have tamar buti in the end. And therefore, we say fi hi in it. But when we say fi ha, we instantly understand that we refer to a feminine word. In this case, it's hurfatun. Hurfatun has tamar buti in the end. It's feminine. And therefore, we say fi ha. Fiha. We can say fihi and imply ghurfatun because ghurfatun is feminine. And also we learned a new word like uhibbu, which means I love or I like. And that's it. And of course we did a series of uh, exercises. And here we are on the 12th lesson. So in, in the 12th lesson, we have a dialogue between Su'ad and uh, Albind. A daughter. The daughter. Alif Lam. So Su'ad says, Assalamu alayki wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, Bintu replies, Wa alayki salamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, this key we will learn in, in, in the next sentence. Su'ad says, Kayfa haluki ya bintu. Haluki. Mm -hmm. So, we know that. Uh, we, we, we've learned these pros possessive pronouns and here we are learn one more of them it's ki the pro possessive pronoun from anti ki well we learned that uh, ante it means you for masculine singular now we learn anti you for feminine singular Min aina anti, min aina anti. It will come over later. But what we want to pay to pay attention to, uh, it's this one. The possessive pronoun from anti is ki. When we refer to a man, you remember we say kaifa haluka, ya ya umaru. But in this case, we refer to a woman, and a possessive pronoun for a woman uh, is ki when you imply you or your كيف حالك how are you يا بنتو or daughter yeah that's what it means so again if we uh, we are talking to a man we say كيف حالك but when we are talking to a woman we say كيف حالك which means your state it's like how is your state, Ya Bintu? That's the literal trans translation. And she says, Ana bi khayrin, walhamdulillah. Ana bi khayrin, well, there is a typo here. The, it, it's supposed to be cast, uh, it's supposed to be cast with Tanwin. Ana bi khayrin, walhamdulillah. I'm good, and all praise be to Allah. Min aina anti, where are you from? And again, we refer to a woman, therefore we say anti. Anta is for masculine singular, anti for feminine singular. Min aina anti, where are you from? And uh, by saying anti, we instantly imply that we refer to a woman, anti. Ana mina mina riyad. Well, I, I made a mistake. Uh, she, she, she's not talking to her daughter, she's talking to a girl. She is talking to a girl. But uh, uh, as far as I know, Bint uh, is also translated as uh, a daughter. But in this case, she's refer she is talking to a girl, Al Bint. And this girl says, Ana mina Riyad. Oh, Ana mina Riyadi. I'm from Riyadh. Well, and she says, Masmuki. Masmuki. This key again, it's a possessive pronoun for 
Andy. Like, what is your name? What's your name? And we are referring to a woman because it's ki, not ka. Ismi Aminatu. Ismi Aminatu. My name is Amina. Aina Abu Ki. Where is your father? Again, Abu Ki, not, not Kab. Abi Huna Fil Madina Til Munawarati. My father is here. Huna here. In the luminous Medina. In the luminous Medina. Huwa Muwajjihun Fil Madrasati Thanawiyati. Uh, he's uh, well, muajjihun it's a person who leads someone to something. Well, let's say that he is an administrator uh, in the high school. Wa aina ummuki, and where is your mom? Hiya aydan huna. Hiya tabibatun fi mustashfa al wiladati. She is. Um, a doctor in the in the hospital you know this uh, hospital where people give birth I forgot how it's called in English but you understand it we have already learned الذي, who which for masculine singular now we learn التي for feminine singular Alati. So when we refer to a feminine singular, we say Alati and it's translated as who or which, depending on what's implied. What's implied by, by this Alati? Well, in this case, uh, a girl is implied, and therefore we say who when we translate into English. And who is the girl? Uh, that is with you. That is with you. Ahiya uhtuka? Is she your sister? La hiya bintu ammi. No, she is a daughter of my uncle. Uncle on my father's side. Ammun. Uh, it means an uncle uh, from, from your father's side. And when you say khalun, it will come over later. Uh, we, use, we use this word خالن, when we refer to an uncle from our mom's side. So yeah, in English it's only one word, but in, in the Arabic language there are two words to refer to an uncle. مسموها What's her name? بنت عمي مسموها, yeah. ها because it refers to بنت عمي and she's feminine. اسمها فاطمة her, her name is فاطمة أهي زميلك Is she your classmate? لا أنا في المدرسة المتوسطة وهي في المدرسة الثانوية No, I'm in the middle school and she is in high school ألك أخت Do you have a do uh, daughter? Do you have a sister? أخت لا مالي أخت No, I don't have a sister ألك أخ ألك أخ Do you have a brother? نعم لي أخ كبير وهو طالب بالجامعة Yes, I've got a big brother or an older brother and he is a student بالجامعة As you remember, B it means at or in He's a student at the university وَمَنْ هَذَا الطِّفْلُ الَّذِي مَعَكِ And who is this child that's with you? Well, with, when we translate this الَّذِي الَّتِي we can translate it as who or which or that. So in this case, who is this child that is with you? هُوَ بُنُ أَخِي هُوَ بُنُ أَخِي It's called Hamza al-Wasil. And as we remember, if it's preceded by a word, it's not pronounced. It's written but not pronounced. Huwa bunu akhi. He is a, a son of my brother. Of my, you see this possessive pronoun? Ya, yeah, akhi. That's why we say my brother. 
he is a son of my brother ما اسمه what's his name اسمه سعد اسمه سعد his name is سعد أأمك في البيت الآن again this hamza to the is preceded by a word therefore we say therefore we don't say we don't pronounce this alif or hamza to the أأمك في البيت الآن and your mom uh, and is your mom in the house right now لا ذهبت إلى المستشفى ذهبت well let's take a look here we have already learned the position for no, 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 not here we have already learned ذهب which means he went ذهب to you probably remember I gave you a table with this uh, with these forms of the verb ذهب he went ذهب to I went ذهب you went in this lesson we learned ذهبت ذهبت you see this تا with سكون here we had fatha, kasra, and this time we have sukun. For example, aina amina tu. Where is amina? Zahabat ila al jamiati. She went to the university. Or in this case, la zahabat ila al mustafshfa. No, she went to the hospital. If the subject is mentioned, the pronoun she has to be dropped. Well, you see, in this in this example, the subject was mentioned before, right? Aina aminatu. That's where it was mentioned. And then then we say zahabat ila al jamiati. There is no need to say zahabat aminatu ila al jamiati. We just say zahabat, and this she is implied in this ta with sukun. So, ذهبت إلى الجامعة She went to the university There is no need to add this آمنة to here Because it was It had been already mentioned أين آمنة ذهبت إلى الجامعة But uh, If it wasn't mentioned You just can You can just say ذهبت مريم إلى المدرسة mm -hmm. So, ذهبت It means uh, She went and here it says that uh, in in the habit, the last letter ta ta with sukun. If a verb like this is followed by alif lam, the sukun is changed to kasra. Zahabatil bintu. You see, in this case, it wasn't followed by uh, alif lam, so we say zahabat ila al mustashfa. But if it's followed by alif lam. We change this sukun to kasra, and you might ask why. Just to make things easier. That's the only reason. Because when you say zahabat al zahabat al bintu, it's a bit complicated to pronounce this tamar uh, this sukun ta this sukun and then this alif lam. But if you say zahabat al bintu zahabat al bintu, it's a lot easier to pronounce. So the only reason why. This uh, sukun is changed to kasra only because it's easier to pronounce, and over time, uh, Arabs adopted this rule because it's easier to pronounce this way. But in this in this sentence, it's not followed by alif lam, and therefore, we pronounce this sukun. Zahabat ila al mustashfa. And here we are, half tamarin. The first one says اقرأ واكتب Read and write It's usually كيف حالك يا أبي كيف حالك يا أبي How is your state or how are you uh, Oh my father أبي father كيف حالك يا أمي You see in this uh, in this sentence we were referring we were we were talking to a man أبي and this haluka, your state, and we were we were referring to a to a to a father, therefore it had tanwin. Oh, not tanwin. Subhanallah. Fatha, haluka. 
but in this sentence we are talking to a woman and therefore the, pros the possessive pronoun for a woman is ki haluki yeah so that's how it is kayfa haluka ya abi kayfa haluki ya ummi if you if you were to say kayfa haluka ya ummi that's a mistake it's like you are refer referring to a man while while you are you're supposed to refer to a woman because ummi is a woman it's feminine she's feminine aina ibnuka or ibnuki ya zainab what do you think well of course we are talking to a zainab and that uh, she she's a woman <coughs> and therefore we say aina ibnuki ya zainab ya zainabu where is your son or Zainab ذهب إلى المسجد ذهب uh, it means went he went he is implied in this form ذهب he went to the masjid or to the mosque أين بنت is it key or كا يا آمنة of course it's key because we are talking to a woman this كا is a is a possessive pronoun for feminine for Amina Aina bintuki ya Aminatu Zahabat ilal madrasati she went uh, to the school mm -hmm. Zahabat we learned this we have learned this word in this lesson so yeah she went to the school Liman hadhi saatu al jami'at Liman hadhi saatu al jamilatu whom does this uh, watch belong to or beautiful watch because Jamil our Jamilatun it means beautiful Ahiya Laki Ya Fatima is it yours or oh, Fatima and Fatima says Naam Hiya Li Naam Hiya Li yes it is mine and here refers to Sa'atun. Sa'atun has tamal. What is the end? It's feminine, and therefore we say here, not huwa. Ahaza qalamuka ya Muhammadu. Is it your pen, O oh Muhammad? La, haza qalamuka anta. No, this is your pen. Well, there is an explanation about this anta. We have learned kitabuka, it means your book. Now note, هذا كتابك أنت, this is your book. Here, أنت has been added for emphasis. هذا كتابك أنت, not just this is your book, but this is your book. It's, uh, it's been put for emphasis. You see, أهذا, أهذا قلمك يا محمد, is it your pen? No, this is your pen. Uh, so, yeah, that's how it is. And here we have some more examples. Haza baytuhu huwa. It would have been sufficient if you were to say Haza baytuhu. It's his house. But if you say Haza baytuhu huwa, it's like it is his house. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. Well, I haven't heard people use this emphasis uh, many times, but but you can do that if you want. So here we uh, here we have the seventh sentence. تلك السيارة الجميلة التي خرجت الآن خرجت الآن. You remember? When it's followed by alif lam, when this task with sukun is followed with alif lam, followed by alif lam, this sukun changes to kasra. Kharajatil ana min al madrasati lil mudiri. That beautiful car, uh, which uh, went out, went out. Uh, now from the school belongs 
to the headmaster. Aanta muhandisun ya akhi? Are you an engineer or my brother? La ana tabib. No, I'm a, I'm a doctor. Aanti tabibatun ya ukhti? Are you a doctor uh, or my sister? La ana mudarrisatun. No, I'm uh, a teacher. I'm a teacher. That's how it's translated. So I think that's enough for this lesson. The rest of the uh, the rest of the exercises we will do in the next lesson. Before the previous lessons were a bit too long. I don't want you to get too much tired. I want you to to stay motivated and focused. So yeah, that's it for this lesson. Just uh, read this dialogue at least five times take a look at these new rules let it sink in don't be in a rush then do the first exercise and that's it i hope i hope you will benefit from this lesson may may allah make it easy for you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh